Now, this is an interesting sculpture just by the river. The Willow Horse Sculpture, I believe. I think it goes back to the times signifying the mills and the canals, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, here's a sign there, tells you more about it. Yeah. So, freeze frame it, people, and read it in your own time. And right next to the horse sculpture, looks like a well of sorts. Is it actual drinking water, it's Jeff? It's drinking water, it's a spring. Spring. Okay, prove it to me. Are you going to drink that? I'm going to drink this. It's at your own peril. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. It's lovely water. If you die, it's on you. <laughs> That's proof it's clean. <laughs> That's lovely. Well, good. That's pure drinking water, everybody. And it's coming from a spring way, way up from a hill near a quarry called Tom McDonald's Quarry. Mm. And it's lovely water. So we've now left the river and we're heading towards Bagnall's Town House, which Jair has told me is rather interesting. So let's have a look at that then, Jair. Lead it's, the way. It's a very, very interesting house, Rue, and it's a very, very unusual kind of shape yeah. uh, house, which I'll, which I'll show you when we get to the actual site. But many, many years ago, there used to be a lovely, lovely old lady that used to live in it. Her name was Mrs. Beecher. And always, always very grateful to people that used to go and visit her up here. And it's like kind of a castle. It's kind of roundish as well, which I'll show you now once we get to this actual spot. So to get to it, just walk maybe a minute or two, and then you'll reach this little ramp to the left. So lead the way, Jer. I'll lead the way now. You follow me carefully where you step now. Right. Now, as you can see, there's a walkway along here. This is the famous house I'm telling you about. There is a couple of derelict buildings around, and sadly there is people here. Uh, is this it there, or is that the no, no, outshed? The, the main house is actually okay. here. This is the main house oh. where, where this old lady used to live. Oh, yeah. it does look as if it was once a lovely spot. Oh, yeah. But unfortunately, it's been boarded up. Yes. There are so many lovely spots around Ireland which just aren't seeing the light of day and aren't giving us justice. It's They're just sad. lying there idle and derelict. It's sad. Falling to ruin. Yeah. No, it's very, very sad. So this, and this garden used to be like a palace one time. As you can see, there's a floodlight on it and everything. Like, you know, it's a lot of steel sheeting that they have up on the window. But if we continue along, we can go around to the front of the building and I'll show you the round sloping on it. Now we're at the back of it and this is what Jer was on about with the design. This is the actual front. That's the front door to go into the building. Then it has, as I was saying, you have the round structure, which sadly, as you can see, there's a nasty crack going down the middle of the wall. Then you have more windows. It was a beautiful house inside. I remember when I was only a small young lad being actually in the house having a cup of tea with the actual person that lived here. Mrs. Beecher was the woman's name. And we're going back to the 80s there, are Oh, way back to the 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're now approaching Kilcarrick Street, is that right? Kilcarrick Street, Now, uh, Bagnall's Town, I can never get its name right in Irish, so how do you pronounce it? It's called Monavioke. Okay, easy Mon as that. Yes, easy as that. Right. Short route. So yeah. better cross this road. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And right in front of us there, is it's a lovely fond memory for you, Jair, isn't it, from your oh, childhood days? Oh, from my young days, yes. Uh, St Andrew's Church, church. I believe, yes. St Andrew's Church. So tell me, you were christened here, weren't you? I was christened in this church. Oh. Um, the grounds is actually way different back then. It's actually quite an uh, unusual texture on it. it you, is, you definitely yeah. won't slip on it. Yeah, you wouldn't slip on it or anything like and that. And a couple of statues we just outside. Statues. Yep. And just in front of us, I love this mural yes. of Mary on the wall there. It's absolutely amazing. It's an actual mosaic? Yes. Wow. It is. Yeah. Do you know who did that? It's oh, it says Patrick and Eleanor O'Connell. Yeah, they're the people that actually had a lot to do with this. Are they local, do you know? Uh, I'd say, yeah, roughly they would be, yeah. And look at that. It's a sign, Jer. Yeah. They're it's pleased to have you back. There's a rainbow There's just a above rainbow that. Here. What's that building now, which is above? That's the solicitor's building. Uh, there used to be a good friend of mine, John Foley, used to actually reside in there doing his solicitor work and everything like that.
Now, as we explore further into Bagnall's Town, there's a building which is now lying idle. It's a manor house, and I did actually have some food here going back maybe seven, eight years ago. I was covering some photography work, some communions going on in St Andrew's Church. Now, tell me about this. There's a celebrity behind this, isn't there? There's a celebrity behind this, and his name is Niall Quinn. Niall Quinn actually ran this place for a very, very long time, actually. International Republic of Ireland Ireland, football uh, player. player. Yes. Now, we're walking down Main Street here, and we're now approaching the local Bagnerstown Library. And once used to be a courthouse building here in Bagnerstown, but now, as to say, the new courthouse is no longer there. It's all one part of the local librarian. But the new courthouse is now situated down near the fire station, just below Main Street here. Some interesting artwork there on the wall. Very interesting, yes. The name of this place is called Falter Coots Estrock. And you have a pipe player, you have a fiddle player, you have two dancers, you have a barrel player and a banjo player. So it tells you that a lot of different musicians play in here. Now we're down on the bottom of Main Street here in Bagnerstown. This building here is very, very famous to me. I had a serious crash through this very pane glass window here on a bicycle. I was avoiding a four-wheel drive Jeep that a friend of mine was driving and I went straight through the window and I landed on a mannequin dummy oh, in the middle of the floor. And how so, long ago was that then? Uh, that was back in the early 80s. Jeez. Yes, I, I still remember the actual crash when it happened. It wasn't fun actually landing on the middle of a floor inside in the shop on a mannequin dummy, believe it or not. You weren't cut to pieces, were you? No, thank God. Whatever way I impacted the window, I went straight in and the window went straight in front uh, with me, of course. It was a nasty fall, but I was alright. I had one or two cuts and bruises on me, but other than that, I'm still standing tall. We're now coming up to Kilcarrick Street, is that right, Jack? Kilcarrick Street, now, where uh, And what is the name of this in Irish? Because I can never pronounce it. That, no, I, I can't myself either. But, uh, no, Bagnus, I'll go. Bagnus, oh, oh, yeah. No, go back, go back. Sorry, sorry.